you can open up a Power Chrome data file such as this in the chart software. You do this by first opening up the file in the Power Chrome software. This is the anti-Pyrene demo file which you'll have on your computer. You first need to know what sampling rate this data was collected at and you do that in the Windows menu, run info and it says here that the data was collected at 40 points per second. That will come in useful later on. You click on File, Save As, and in this dialog box, the Save As type should be Text Document. Click on Save. I'm only going to save this run, so I'm going to click Current Run Only. Uh, I don't need to save the data in Channel 2. The data format, uh, this is in Volts, so I'm going to click on Volts, and I don't want to include the time column. I'm going to click save here and that's saved. If I go and find that file, it's uh, here, it's a .txt document. If I double click to open you'll see it's lots of numbers there. What I want to do is use the mouse to right click on here and I'm going to open with EDAC chart. If this option isn't in your list you can choose program and find it in this list instead, EDAC chart. Click OK. This open text column will come up. You've got to make sure that you've unclicked the times in the first column. And the default sampling speed is what we found earlier on, the 40 hertz. Click OK. And then you can see our data has been opened up in the chart software here. Uh, it's only in channel 1, so I can drag this down. track the x-axis and if I click on the auto scale you see that here our data in the chart software is the same data that was in the Power Chrome software. All you need to do now is save your file as a chart data file. 